This video is a tutorial as well as a practical video to understand SSD with Arduino. And also how to identify pins of SSDs, how to make numbers with SSDs, what is the multiplexing method and how to make counters with SSDs. You can learn all the above at the end of this video. I am using 4 digits common anode SSD for this project. There are 4 anodes pins for the 4 digits. Pin number 12 for first digit, pin 9 for third digit, pin number 8 for second digit and the pin number 6 for fourth digits. And also, the pin number 11 for A, pin number 7 for B and pin number 4, 2, 1, 10 and 5 for C, D, E, F and G. The pin number 3 is to display the dot. For an example, if you want to show number 2, then you have to connect positive pin to pin number 6 and negative pin with SSD's pin numbers 11, 7, 5, 1 and 2. I hope you can understand the way of making numbers. But the problem comes with creating numbers more than one. Suppose you want to show number 34. Accordingly after showing 4 in first digit and the same time, when you activate the next digit, the next digit also show number 4. However, finally you can see number 94 instead of number 34. Using a tissue. We have to we can show only one digit at one time. But it is not the real solution to display a number. Therefore we have to go for a real solution. We call it multiplexing method. You may know that the human I keep in memory a small time that what they have seen. This same method is being used in this occasion. If this process is continued fast, you cannot see numbers separately, but you will see as a single number. This method is called as multiplexing now you know how this is worked. The previous project big LED clock is also used the same method. Let's go to the wiring part. You can connect this SSD directly with Arduino without using resistors. If you watch the video, you can understand the wiring part clearly. After the wiring part is completed, upload the given code. This codes can be used in different ways.
I decided to show as three options. In the option number one, you can use a potentiometer to count the numbers. When you increase the resistance numbers will be added. This can be used to show the water level of the tanks as well. Option number two is, if you press one time the number increase by one. Even the button is pressed and hold. Nothing change until release and press again the button. Option number three is continuing counter. When the button is press and hold, the counter starts counting until release the button. You can use this project as per the practical situation with using your own creative ideas. All the details and codes are available in my website. The link of the web is in the description. If you think this video is helpful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel.